Hi YouTubers, and today I want to talk to you about, well, Islam. Yeah, Islam and its influence in Britain, really. And why can't it take criticism? Uh, it, is, it is a very controversial subject, and that's mainly because uh, people who follow Islam get very upset every time you mention it. And uh, is that really necessary? Why does it uh, deserve not to be criticised? After all, it does seek political power. I've seen this on the uh, Muslim Council of Britain website in the past. It doesn't seem to be there now, but they used to, used to have a piece on that uh, said that uh, if, the, if they continue uh, in Britain, you should abide by the rules. Um, eventually, they'll get political power through democracy. And uh, when there's enough, um, they'll take over, basically. And it was very open about that. And uh, I used to look it up for a bit of a, bit of a smile. And I uh, love the honesty of it. But uh, it's a very, again, it's open and said it's political. Now, when you're in politics, you expect a bit of criticism. Oh, a criticism, if you like. Um, otherwise, it's a bit like, well, it's a bit like voting your wife first in a beauty contest, for instance. Um, which is a bit unfair, really. Unless, of course, all the contestants are covered in black linen. And um, then who's going to know anyway? So uh, there you go. Anyway, the Muslim Council of Britain, uh, it has changed slightly uh, lately. It's got a new, it, a while back, I think last year, we had a new leader, Dr. Mohammed Abdul Bari. Um, seems to be a slight improvement on the previous one. But uh, once again, it does, does come up with some interesting statements and has done since it's been there. Um, for instance, the British government didn't want or doesn't want the Muslim Council of Britain to be seen to support any form of terrorism or any sort of fundamentalists. Um, something for which it was criticised before of being, well, supported of. And uh, so now if you go onto the website, they do, do say that um, it uh, condemns all acts of harming innocent civilians. Um, and what, what, what is innocence in Islam? I mean, how are you considered innocent? If we look um, here, for instance, I've got a few notes. Um, if you drink alcohol, you're not innocent. If, if your toilet faces the wrong way, you're not, you're not innocent. Uh, sh sharing of flesh, uh, eating of pork, committing adultery, uh, homosexuals, uh, apostates that leave Islam. Um, anybody of a different religion, obviously, and are atheist, uh, they're not innocent. Those who draw cartoons against Muhammad, those who name their teddy bears the wrong way, those that speak out against the Holocaust, those that share mixed sex swimming pools, those that keep dogs in the house, those that write novels that don't agree. Now, novels, something that's not true against uh, which Islam, you know, they're, they're not innocent either. Uh, those who don't send their children to faith schools, uh, those that uh, refuse to be intimidated, uh, those that tell the um, story of three little pigs, for instance. That was a fun one last year. Um, all these people are considered not innocent. Those who want animals to be respected um, and be humanely, have humane deaths, you know, humanely destroyed. They're not considered innocent. And handling a bottle of alcohol at supermarket checkouts, you know, it, not considered innocent. Um, um, so what is this innocent thing? I don't know. It, it's uh, innocence and killing seem to go together like, uh, well, a ra rabbi and circumcision when it's in uh, Islam, doesn't it? And yes, I am being critical. And yes, I, I do want people to uh, disagree with me. And I want people to go out on the streets, uh, Muslim people to go out on the streets and say, you're wrong. This is, we want this, we want this, we want this. These things are, are wrong, you know. Um, so yeah, protest against them. Why protest against just, just a cartoonist or something like that, which caused, <laughs> caused hundreds of deaths. And it's so unnecessary. Anyway, let's go back to the Muslim Council of Britain for a while, because I haven't got a great deal of time. So, uh, Dr. Bali, um, he's, he's been quite uh, in the news for saying certain things. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's let slip a few things. He said Britain was, uh, must be aware, of, uh, beware of becoming like Nazi Germany, you know, so, which is surprising, really, because I don't know anybody who really has that much against the Jews um, in Britain. 
uh, than I know anyway. However, we won't go on to that. There is um, no such thing as Islamic terrorism, is another thing he said. Um, well, terrorism is terrorism. Um, yeah, okay. Have you ever seen those videos, though, with, uh, where someone's just blown themselves up? And you look at it, and they're saying, I do this uh, against, against the Jews, for Islam, and blah, blah, blah. It always mentions Islam and, and, and the fact that they're uh, Muslim and they're doing it for their faith. So I would call that Islamic terrorism. But uh, yeah, it's words, isn't it? It's words. It's like innocent. Um, now, the East London Mosque, which Dr. Barry was, uh, was once the chairman, and probably still is, I don't know, um, it stopped extremist literature, which it can, became uh, rather in trouble for. Now, in reply, of course, Dr. Barry said, well, it's an independent bookshop. You don't, uh, you can't blame me for that. They can sell what they like. But uh, I've got the feeling that if they'd sold like the Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie, I've got the feeling he probably would have said something. Um, so anyway, uh, there you go. Have a think about that one. Now, uh, Dr. Barry also said that suicide bombers are victims as well as aggressors. They are probably bullied. Now, um, yeah, I was bullied at school, interestingly. Um, yeah, I, I was. Um, I was called fat. Uh, I found slightly worse things than that. Um, I wasn't the biggest kid at school, but I was, I was quite portly, as we call it. Us fat people. <laughs> anyway, um, but I got over it. Hey, I don't want to kill anyone just because they called me fat. You know, four eyes. Hey. They can come up with worse worse things than that. And I'm still not going to be that offended, you know. It's not nice. I mean, we won't be friends, but, um, you know, the way it goes, isn't it? So uh, you just take it, don't you? But uh, do you go out and start bombing people just because they got bullied at school? Especially when they're people you don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, British people, in his view, could benefit from arranged marriages. Yeah, arranged marriages. Now, uh, yeah, it's a bit like it's a bit like going to the lottery, isn't it? Or you pay your pound and you might get a jackpot, but most of the time you're just going to lose your pound. And I think that's pretty much the way I look at uh, arranged marriages. And I think a lot of other people would as well. Um, he says he prefers to call them assisted marriages. Now, assisted marriages, well, yes, it's like assisted bank robbery, isn't it? Uh, assisting assisting murder. Um, you know, assisted. You can call it what you like, can't you? Can't you? Ah, anyway, what else has he done? He wants to uh, ban, he wants the government to ban drinking in public places. Uh, and this is probably because the government's already pissed off every smoker in Britain. And uh, now he thinks it's, that with them out of the way, we can perhaps uh, have a go at the drinkers as well. And believe it or not, we are seeing on British television a great move now towards banning of drinking in public places. You see it all the time. So they're next. Anyway, um, Dr. Barry was, also wants more morality. Now, who's, who's to say who's morality? We all have different morals. I, I like to see naked women and, uh, you know, I don't care. I don't get a boner every time I see one. I've seen millions, well, hundreds of thousands perhaps, and uh, it's fine. I don't care. I don't, uh, I don't go out of my way to see them. In fact, some of those channels on late at night on the telly, I find them a bit boring, you know. You turn it on, you go, hey, look at that. And you go, oh, I'm going to watch uh, UK Gold now. I want some old repeat of the comedy. Uh, they're not that interesting. Once you've seen a thousand, you've seen, you want to see another thousand, but that doesn't matter. You don't suddenly become some sort of a pervert that's going to, oh, I'm waffling now, aren't I? I'm probably running out of time, so I'll carry on. Dr. Bari also wants um, no revealing of your body so that it is tempting. Uh, I wonder if that actually includes foot fetishes. Um, don't know. Anyway, we'll think about that one. Uh, banning of homosexuals is another one. That, that was particularly good. I like that. Um, you can't really ban homosexuals, you know. They really are that way or not that way. And what's more, if you're not homosexual, they don't bother you, you know. Wouldn't that be great in religion, you know? If you're not, say, religious, religious people wouldn't bother you. But uh, it doesn't work that way, does it? Well, to sum up, I've run out of time, but criticism is necessary. Criticism is necessary to put 
both views. Um, I personally don't agree with all the Islamic things and Islamic things don't agree with me, but somewhere in the middle perhaps we'll come to some sort of agreement. And that's the way it works. That's politics. Politics is not about just telling people what they're going to do. And that is called, well, fascism, which is why they sort of, uh, you get uh, that label of Islamo-fascist. Now, by all means, you know, protest against this and, uh, and, and do say something. I think I've run out of time anyway, so uh, peace for now and we'll discuss this later.